Hey guys, welcome to a new sewing video. Today I am going to be making something completely new to me, out of my comfort zone. I haven't used my swimmer in a while, of course, because of the pandemic, so I'm not entirely sure what condition it is in right now. But also, summer camp season is coming up and I am in need of some swimwear that I will feel comfortable wearing when I have other people's children in my care. Just something that covers me up a little bit more than the stuff that I wear when I'm swimming with friends. So I would really like to have a swimsuit that is pretty and flattering, but also more on the modest side. So I think I have found the perfect item in the Closet Core Patterns Bombshell Swimsuit. It is a beautiful 1950s inspired swimsuit with a ruched front ruched sides and then um, comes down into almost like a skirt and they have several different views but I feel like the bandeau top would probably be most appropriate. <laughs> I have gotten myself this beautiful fabric. It is a navy blue lycra with these white seeds, I guess you could say. Very very pretty. I have a lining to go with that swimsuit lining and I also bought myself some notions so I have cups and I have swimmer elastic and I'm just gonna embark on this journey and try to make swimwear. I feel like this is gonna be very different from sewing other things that I have done before. Not in the least because this is very stretchy fabric and I haven't really worked with stretchy fabric before aside from the tool and lace on my wedding dress but I think this is gonna be different again. Yeah, some challenges here, a little bit of work to do research-wise, but I'm really excited. So let's get started. Oh, I did take your guys' advice, by the way, and try to find a print shop near me that would print my pattern on a large format. Um, so I went to my nearest print shop and the guy told me that his large printer is broken and he's kind of maybe considering replacing it one day. So I have to look for a different one. So in the meantime, we need to assemble this. I have prepped my sewing machine with the right color thread and a ballpoint needle for stretchy fabrics. I have run a test on my actual fabric with both a finishing stitch that is very similar actually to what a serger would do. And I also tried a gathering stitch and both look good. So I can now start making gathering stitches on the side of my front. There's the top and it's going to be gathered all around the sides. I'm going to make two rows of gathering stitches, just basting stitches, and then move on to the next step. I started working on the back and for the back there are two options. There is the option to have it ruched just like the front or to have the back smooth. And I chose to do the smooth version just because um, when I saw other people who have made this pattern, I feel like the ruched version is a little bit harder to get a neat result with. So I went for the smooth back, which means that my next step is to attach the fabric to the lining. And to do that, I need to use that finishing stitch. And as smoothly as it went in my test patch, it's not going as smoothly anymore. It has a tendency to completely run off the fabric um, all the time. So it's a bit wobbly, but at least it's attached. And I do believe that this is gonna be on the inside only. And maybe by the time I start working on the outside, I'll get the hang of it a little bit more. But in any case, I am now attaching the lining on the outer two seams of this half of the back. And then I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side of the back and then I can join those two pieces together to make my back bits.
attached the bottom of the front of the swimsuit to the lining. So that now looks like this. And next up, I need to attach this to the back that way. Okay, wait, so like this, I think. And then I will have the foundation of a bathing suit more or less finished. The bottom is attached. It was pretty difficult to do. I wouldn't say this is a beginner friendly project, but I managed. So now I'm working on the front, on the top of the front, um, like the top layer. I'm gonna start doing the gathers on the bust. And for that, I'm just gonna draw a line through the center. And then I'm gonna create basting stitches all around. So this way and that way, so that I can then gather up the bust and then attach this tab here that's going to wrap around it um, from the outside. So it's gonna look a little like this. And that's gonna be the, the top of the bathing suit. Now that my front is ruched to the correct size, it is time to start working on assembly. So I have two pieces of swimwear elastic here that is the size of both of these leg holes. And I'm now going to attach the elastics to both sides of the front lining here, but just a little bit, about three inches in. I'm gonna attach them and then fold over the fabric and top stitch. But again, just that little, little bit. So the rest of the elastic is gonna be hanging out for now because we're gonna work on that later. I have now attached elastic all around the bottom of the swimsuit and in some places I stretched it, in some places I didn't. So basically around the bottom, like the bottom most bottom, <laughs> that's where you wanted to stretch. That's where it needs to be the tightest. So now I'm just going to fold over the elastic and top stitch so that everything looks nice and neat from the outside. I tried on the swimsuit to determine where the bra cups need to go. Um, so these bra cups, <laughs> They are very weird, as in the shape is not the shape that my breasts are in any case. I feel like this is a straight up bullet bra, but then again, I tried it on. It looks kind of weird, but it actually adds to the whole 50s feel. So I think I'm just going to run with it. I can always take them out if it doesn't work after all. So I am going to 
attach these to my lining, see where that takes me. All right, I inserted elastic around the top and the bathing suit is almost done, which is honestly a good thing because I'm getting kind of fed up with it. Obviously, this is the first time I'm making swimwear, so it's a little bit harder for me than other things I'm used to making. I have a little bit of a problem with this pattern in that it leaves all of the seams exposed. Usually when I use sewing patterns, the things I like about them, the thing I like about them is that they show me how to properly finish garments because, I mean, designing garments is something I can do myself, but I don't have the technical knowledge to make, to finish things properly. That's what I'm trying to say. And I feel like, especially with swimwear or something that you wear against your naked body, I would just expect the seams to be hidden a little better or encased, especially because this has lining. I don't really understand why the seams aren't inside the lining because yeah, everything is out and I feel like that might be a little bit uncomfortable. Pretty much what you're supposed to do throughout the entire project is to either search or zigzag your seams. And I can imagine if you were actually surging, it would look at least a little bit neater than what I have here now because I have been more or less zigzagging the whole thing, even surged edges. I wouldn't expect them to be exposed like this in swimwear. None of my um, store-bought swimwear has exposed seams like this. They're all encased. And also with the elastic, it is flipped over once and then top stitch, whereas I would expect it to flip over once more so that you get a nice edge like that, just finished. <laughs> and everything that is now exposed would have been hidden. And I could just do that myself, but that brings me to my second issue I have with this pattern. The seam allowances are so tiny, like they are very, very small. And it's this is already difficult material to work with, even with a regular like five eighths of an inch seam allowance. But I believe much of this has either a quarter of an inch or a third of an inch seam allowance, which is just very small, especially with difficult material, and it doesn't leave you any room to finish the seams. Yeah, the inside of the bathing suit is just unsightly. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to, for example, make this as a gift for someone. As it is right now, I just wouldn't feel comfortable doing that because I just don't think the inside is nice enough. That being said, the outside looks wonderful, looks amazing. I tried it on when I was trying the cups and it looks incredible. I'm very, very happy with that. I struggled with this tab for a bit, this little tab that closes off the front here. I think I reattached that maybe four times before deciding to simply do it by hand because I just couldn't get it right. So that is now attached on the inside and the outside as well. So last step is to make the straps and this one has straps that are kind of like halter style and then will be tied behind the neck. Um, so I have my strap pattern here. Here we go, two of these. And that is gonna be the last step. Ta-da! Here it is, the swimsuit is ready. Let me take off my sunglasses, although I think these aren't the perfect sunglasses to go with this look. So yeah, here is how it came out. I'm very happy with it. It does everything that I wanted it to do. It covers me up more than any other swimsuit I've ever had before, <laughs> but it's still very swimsuity. It looks nice and retro. I love the print, love the fabric. Yeah, all in all, I'm just, I'm just very satisfied with it. I did already mention the problems that I had with the inside of the swimsuit. Again, not too happy with that, although, wearing it now i don't necessarily feel any discomfort it feels fine but still i would have preferred to have my seams inside my lining yeah i am quite happy with how everything looks the back is tied with a little tie right here it comes down nice and low in the back as well which i really like this was definitely an intermediate sewing project i do think that the end result turned out really nice. I'm very happy with this and I definitely will be wearing this a lot. Also, concerning those seams, I don't think this bathing suit will last me a very long time. I feel like it might start to fray, but then again, store-bought swimsuits don't really last more than a couple years either, so I guess that's fine. But yeah, I'm very, very happy with it and I do actually have plenty of fabric left that I can still make different swimwear. I might go ahead and make a regular bikini as well. Although I, if I do that, I'm definitely getting different bra cups because these are so weird. I don't think it's super noticeable, but to me personally, it just looks very odd. I'm gonna see if there are other cups available that I could get if I am to make 
something else out of this as well but so much fabric left I definitely want to do something else with it but that is it for this one I really hope you enjoyed watching guys let me know if you have ever made swimwear a bathing suit or a bikini or something like that I would love to know how you fared how you liked your results and what types of stuff you've made I hope you enjoyed this video guys if you did don't forget to give a thumbs up Subscribe to my channel for lots more beauty, fashion, lifestyle and sewing content. If you would like to support me through Patreon or my merch store, there are links in the description box below. Thank you so much for your support. There is another video here that I think you might also enjoy. You can go watch next. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Enjoy your summer and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!